Ukraine's family of unmanned surface vessels continues to grow as the security service of Ukraine have developed a grad rocket armed sea baby drone. The one-way or kamikaze unmanned surface vessels, or USVs, deployed by Ukraine in the Black Sea have been instrumental in engaging the Russian Navy. However, more recent new variants have emerged as Russia has begun to adapt and successfully engage Ukraine's USVs, which in turn has seen the Ukrainians seek to adapt. The first video of the rocket-armed USVs in action recently emerged, and the security service of Ukraine, the SBU, has released some photographs which appear to show the drone in testing. On the 22nd of May, an anonymous SBU source told the Kyiv Independent that the new drones have been used in combat against Russian positions on the Kinburn Spit, which is a stretch of often fought over land on the coast near Mykolaiv. This technological solution is already showing powerful results, the source said, adding, Our Sea Baby is not just a drone, but a multifunctional platform that is constantly being improved. So far, it seems that the rocket armed USVs have been used against shore targets rather than to engage the Russian Black Sea Fleet itself. Firing on a moving target from an unstable platform may be a bit more of a challenge. But it still remains to be seen if this USV variant has been put to use engaging vessels at sea. The Grad Sea Baby gives the SBU the useful ability to strike shore targets anywhere along the Russian-occupied Black Sea coast. From the available imagery, we know that at least three of these rocket arm variants have been built so far. The drones have been equipped with six 122mm Grad rocket launch tubes. The BM-21 multiple rocket launch system is used by both Ukraine and Russia. Its size, ubiquity, and relative cheapness makes it an obvious choice for mounting on the 6 meter long Sea Baby. The latest versions of the Sea Baby are able to carry 400 kilogram warheads over 500 miles at speeds of up to 48 knots. The Grad rockets have a range of anywhere between 20 and 50 kilometers, depending on the variant of the rocket used. It's unclear if a sea-based launch impacts the rocket's range or accuracy, but depending on the sea conditions, dispersion of the munitions is almost certainly affected. While accuracy may be affected, the rockets still give the Sea Baby a useful standoff capability, allowing the USVs to engage targets at a distance rather than having to make it physically all the way to the target to detonate its payload. How the rockets are aimed or the launcher is zeroed isn't yet clear. The tubes do not appear to be adjustable for elevation, as photos appear to show them fixed in place at a slight angle. Available photos show the launcher being tested ashore, perhaps the tubes are bore sighted. This isn't the first time that rockets have been fired from a Ukrainian USV. Back in January 2024, footage of a USV firing what appeared to be smaller rockets at a Russian patrol vessel emerged. The rockets are believed to have been RPB-16 or RPOA thermobaric rockets. Some of this footage, along with other older video, was included in a short clip which showed off the rocket-armed sea babies. While this footage may not show a grad launch, Vassil Malyuk, the head of the SBU, has said during a press event with United24 that, for the first time, the SBU used the sea baby drone, equipped with the grad rocket salvo fire systems in December 2023, adding that this represented a new milestone in the history of sea battles. Newsweek reported that the Sea Babies fitted with the grad launches were paid for using donations from United24 fundraising, with each USV estimated to be worth around $220,000. Most recently, we also saw another curious Ukrainian USV emerge, equipped with an improvised air defence system with two repurposed AA-11 Archer air-to-air -air missiles. The air defence USVs emerged as Russian helicopters began to effectively engage the Ukrainian USVs. Given the rapid evolution of Ukraine's USVs, it would not be surprising to eventually see one equipped with a guided anti-ship missile, such as a small RBS-17. The smaller cross-section and speed of the Sea Baby drones allow them to infiltrate and approach the Black Sea Fleet both at sea and in port. However, the Russians have developed rudimentary tactics to successfully engage them, either with helicopters or with small arms and other defensive fire from the vessels themselves. A standoff capability, be it a USV equipped with unguided grad rockets or an anti-ship missile, adds another dimension the Russians will have to adapt to. 
The Grad-armed Sea Baby is the latest indicator that Ukraine's USV fleet is continuing to diversify to meet new threats and operational requirements. Thanks for watching guys, as always I hope you found that interesting. If you enjoyed the video please do consider supporting us via Patreon or check out the History of Weapons and War app, links to those in the description box below. And of course don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks again, catch you next time.